first at five. Ten News with George Dmikian and Nikki Dwyer. Tonight, a body blow for South Australia's manufacturing sector with hundreds of Mitsubishi jobs set to go. A man and a boy tell how they survived a night clinging to their overturned catamaran off Kangaroo Island. And claims of a government cover-up as dozens of Hills residents demand answers on a toxic waterway. Also tonight, a GST nightmare looming as nearly half of South Australia's businesses failed to get ready for the new tax system. Good evening. A man and a 15-year-old boy have survived after clinging to their capsized yacht for nearly 40 hours in heavy seas off Kangaroo Island. They were finally rescued this morning after a chance sighting from the police helicopter. Cold, tired and hungry, but Hank Levering and Josh Tyler are just happy to be back on land. Unlucky that it happened, but yeah, lucky that we got out of it. Hank's six metre catamaran, Agro, capsized after being hit by a freak wave and a gust of wind between Cape Jervis and Kangaroo Island, south of Adelaide. It just blew it straight over. Just, just quick as that. I was more worried for Josh, actually, because uh, uh, his brother uh, was in an accident a few years back and uh, I was really concerned about Chris, who's Josh's mother, you know, how, up she, how upset she'd be. Hank was thrown into the water. 15-year-old Josh was trapped in the yacht as it flipped upside down. Luckily, he was in an air pocket. I tipped over and I could hear Hank saying, get out of there, so I tried pulling myself out on a bar that I found on the outside of the boat, pull myself under and then out, and just got back on the boat on top of it. The King's Code neighbours spent nearly 40 hours clinging to the yacht. They put up a makeshift mast and managed to sail towards Kangaroo Island. The police search started yesterday after a reported sighting southeast of Cape Jervis. But it was a chance sighting from the rescue helicopter as it flew into Kingsco to refuel, which ended the search. Polar One has located the two occupants of the boat. The yacht was just 20 metres offshore. They were standing on the catamaran waving, waving uh, ferociously trying to get our attention, but there was no way we were going to miss them. This afternoon, Hank retrieved the stranded catamaran. He plans to repair it and then get straight back out on the water. Mark Adenal, 10 News. The heavy price Adelaide will pay to keep its Mitsubishi car plant has at last been revealed. The company will axe 600 workers. A decision forced by financial losses last year of $130 million. It's been a rough few months for Mitsubishi workers. Job losses and continuing uncertainty have strained even the most optimistic. And today, more bad news. Regrettably, the necessary restructuring to secure our future comes at a price in terms of employment. Around 600 positions, most of them white collar and managerial level positions, need to be removed. And there was more. Mitsubishi Australia posting a record loss. It's been blamed on a strengthening Japanese yen, global overproduction and falling domestic demand. Obviously it wasn't a decision that we've taken easily. Uh, 600 people is designed to make us profitable, to enable us to be able to complete uh, globally. The voluntary redundancies are in addition to the 300 which took place last year. The news comes a day after statements from Mitsubishi's Tokyo president prompted further speculation about possible closures in Adelaide. Mitsubishi sales in Australia fell 17% last year to 70,000 vehicles. And if one thing is certain about the car manufacturer, the continuing speculation will do nothing to turn those figures around. But the company hopes plans to produce a new Pajero as well as commitments to build a new Magna will end uncertainty. Motoring experts also say the prospect of closure is unlikely. You never say never because since they're owned by an overseas corporation that's not headquartered here, they might decide to close it. But they had many opportunities to close this plant. They're working hard on a restructure. They want it to restructure. That means a headquarters wants the plant to stay open. The state government will help fund counselling for workers who lose their jobs. 